if you can inbound the ball into the front court, there is no full court press. Of course, that depends on the ability of your players, but I'm not going to overlook the baseball pass from inbounds to the front court. I'll come back and address this in a moment. For now, let's assume you can't pass to the front court. If we can inbound the ball anywhere in the middle, anywhere in this highway down the middle, our press offense has the advantage. But let's assume that the ball is entered into the outer one third, uh, either here or here, uh, but not in the middle and not on the sideline and not in the coffin corner, you know, the worst possible place to catch it just somewhere in the outer one third. The first and main principle that I wanna teach is the responsibilities of the four players without the ball. They are responsible for filling the following positions in relationship to the ball handler. Straight away, that's this player. Diagonal. middle, which could be any player, and safety valve. Uh, that's someone behind the line of the ball. If we can get players without the ball to these positions, our chances of breaking the press goes way up. I might teach these positions with physical spots on the floor, but these positions should be filled whenever and wherever the ball is trapped. Full court, three quarter court, or half court. Whether you knew the trap was coming or not. And although I would love to demand certain players in certain spots, I can't always count on that. So if we're surprised with a press or a trap, the closest player should fill these spots immediately with desperate urgency, like our house is on fire because it is. Before I explain each position, let's talk about the inbound receiver. Press Break is one of the many courses designed to improve your coaching. Join us with an all-access pass and view the entire library.